welcome to this video where we'll be looking at the JVC HC500 camera. The JVC HC500 is a handheld 4K production camcorder featuring a one inch sensor and live streaming capability. It offers uncompromised live and recorded image quality with exceptional IP connectivity, allowing live streaming to Facebook and YouTube Live with the click of a button. The camera allows you to shoot 4K Ultra HD and record to SSD media in a variety of formats, including 10-bit ProRes 422 at 4K resolution and 60p frame rates. So let's get started with a basic introduction. Your camera will come with a battery that looks like this. Have a look for the connectors on the top. You need to line them up with the connectors at the bottom of the battery slot on the camera. Like this. Slide the battery down so that the connectors meet at the bottom. You can plug the camera into the mains to charge the battery. You will see a power charge light on the side of the camera. The light will be flashing when the battery is charging. To release the battery, press the battery release button and slide out. To turn the camera on, use the small slider on the side of the camera. Press the blue button and slide up to power on. You can find the LCD screen on the top handle unit of the camera. You can flip it out like this. If the LCD screen is blank, press the display button. To move through the menu, first make sure that the key lock button is off. Press menu on the side of the camera to see your menu options on the LCD screen. The menu is not touch screen. Use the joystick to navigate through the menu. To exit out of the menu, press the cancel button. The SD card slot is located at the back of the camera. Here it is. You'll be given an SD card as part of the kit. If you're using more than one SD card, you can use the slot select button to move between cards in slots A and B. You'll be given a card reader to transfer your footage once you've finished filming. Don't forget to format your SD card before you begin. To enter into the menu, press the menu button. Use the joystick to scroll down to system. Scroll to media. Press the joystick to select Format Media. Format Slot A if your SD card is in Slot A. And then Format. This will delete everything on the SD card. Complete. There's a lens cover on this camera. Slide the lever up to open it, or slide the lever down to close it. This JVC zoom lens has a 20 times optical zoom with f2.8 to f4.5. In line with the three ring system, the first ring is focus. Notice on the right hand side of the LCD screen, AF signifies autofocus. You can switch between autofocus and manual focus here. Notice now MF signifies manual focus. The middle ring is the zoom ring. The optical zoom ratio is 1 to 20. Notice this is shown on the right side of the LCD screen with the WT scale. W stands for wide angle and T for telephoto. Alternatively, you can use the zoom rockers on the top handle of the camera or on the right-hand grip. 
The third ring is the iris or aperture ring. This is displayed on the bottom of the LCD screen. If you are on Auto Iris, you will see an AF. Press the Iris button to switch between Auto and Manual Control. If you have Manual Control, you will see F and a number. When using the Auto Shutter mode, you'll see an A icon next to your shutter speed here. Press the shutter button to move between auto and manual shutter mode. When you are using the manual shutter mode, the A icon disappears. Use the joystick to move between shutter speeds. <laughs> to turn the zebras on, first press the menu button on the side of the camera. Scroll down to LCD VF, Shooting Assist, Zebra, On. When you exit out of the menu, you can see a little zebra on your screen. You can turn the zebras off and on using the zebra button on the side of the camera. Press the menu button and scroll down to System. Record Set, Record Format. Here you can change your format, resolution, frame rate, and bit rate. When you're happy, click Apply, and you've now set your recording format. You can see it displayed on the top of your LCD screen. To set the white balance on the camera, make sure the BA preset switch is switched to A or B. Take out the white balance card from the camera kit. Fill the frame with the card. And press and hold the white balance button on the side of the camera. The white balance icon will flash at the bottom of the LCD screen. You will now see an estimated value of the colour temperature in Kelvin at the bottom of the LCD screen. You can change the audio settings on the top handle unit of the camera. You can select your inputs, either line, mic or phantom powered mic. And you can change your control from auto to manual. There are two inputs on the side of the unit, input one and input two. Plug the microphone in. If using manual control, you can adjust the gain with these wheels. To monitor the sound, use the headphones that come with the kit. The port for the headphones is at the back of the camera. Look for the headphone icon. You can adjust the headphone volume on the top unit. And you can see the headphone volume displayed on the LCD screen. When you're ready to record, press the record button. You can find the record button either on the right grip or on the top unit. When you're recording, you'll see it displayed on the LCD screen. Press record again to stop. To view your footage in camera, press the mode button. Once in the playback mode, use the joystick to navigate through clips and play. Press the mode button again to exit playback. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this basic introduction to the JVC HC500 camera. Yeah!